here we are again guys in this second part of this tutorial I will show you a different light approach with uh, HDRI lighting so let's begin first of all to activate my D uh, HDRI lighting I uh, have uh, um, I may must have uh, an HDRI map that's particular one is this Teatro Massimo 8K it's downloaded for free it's downloadable for free in uh, for from uh, text um, hdrihaven.com i will um, put it the link uh, of um, this site this super cool site uh, in my in the description of this video so first of all edit render setting v-ray bridge that's our the default settings of V-Ray for Cinema 4D 3.7 and um, I want to go to my environment that's controlled environment uh, uh, settings of my scenes and in this uh, texture slot I will apply my HDRI map my settings are this is good because uh, the map is a spherical map and the multiplier I think says um, I must increase it but uh, we will see in a few to increase the power of my lighting I will um, I have applied to my windows here and on the side of my structure here, three area light to um, permit the light to pass through and increase the power of my HDRI to my lighting because the HDRI is super cool for reflection and uh, refraction and uh, uh, it simulate a very natural light because it's a f uh, it's bring nature in my render with a photo so the information of the photos in 32 bits are bring to my scene um, but it's a little bit um, um, underpowered so uh, I usually use uh, uh, some array lights uh, in interior scene to increase the power of this uh, of this lighting the settings of my, my camera are the same of the previous scene uh, from default the film, film ISO is set it up to 100 uh, or 200 so 100 yes and the sh shutter speed to 200 for this scene I will increase the film ISO to 400 and shutter speed to 50 white balance set preset is neutral and I have no vignetting effects because I don't want it. Okay. With these settings, I will. Uh, uh, sorry, for the camera, the I have um, already applied, as you can see in the previous tutorial, uh, the near clipping uh, plane to um, frame my picture without the walls of my <laughs> my of my structure because the camera is positioned uh, um, under the the walls of my structure uh, this is a little tricks uh, that's uh, uh, very very important things to remember to uh, produce a very good uh, um, renderings uh, in uh, computer graphics in every programs okay after these settings are good I will test the first render as you can see with uh, the um, HDRI of value of 1 I have uh, a little and very poor lighting situation a little bit of lights in enter my scene from the 
the side and the front uh, windows but the uh, cool things is I have uh, a background uh, that's bring reflection on my scene and this is super cool uh, um, compared with the physical the standard physical sky but uh, um, the cons are uh, that I have a less uh, lighting power for my scene okay as you can see I have a very very dark uh, lighting so I stop my render and increase the power of my HDRI so I'm going to my render settings environment and I will increase this multiplier that's uh, um, increase the, the power of my um, HDRI let's try to 10 and see what happens Okay, as you can see, the power of my HDRI, are, the exposure of my HDRI are increased a lot. But the scene is already too dark. As you can see with the previous one. As I told you before, to um, reduce this contrast between the exterior lighting and interior lights, I will um, help me with uh, these three area lights that I uh, put it on my windows. These three lights are standard area lights that I will create with uh, V-Ray Bridge, V-Ray Lights, V-Ray Area Rectangle Lights this one I'll show you in a moment oh, sorry I'll put it off there's a, uh, this simple light here and I place it on my window and shape it for obtain the desired result okay so for the side light, I want uh, a strong uh, um, light pass through to increase the contrast with the uh, the, um, the light of my environment uh, pass through my main windows uh, under my scene. So I'm going to set it up uh, this side light on uh, watt radiant power, and let's try with 200. To increase the power of my HDRI on uh, on this window, I will increase my front uh, lights to 50 in radiant power. But after doing this, let's see what happens in our render. Okay, as you can see, I have a very good and strong lighting now with the help of these area lights, but I have some overexposure area that I won't want here, here and here. So, 
to reduce these effects I will stop the render and change the color mapping of this scene from linear multiply to exponential to do this go to render settings color mapping on the under V-Ray bridge and change the, this type from linear multiply to exponential and retest my render Okay, as you can see, I have less problem of overexposure area, but uh, I think my overall exposure is uh, a little bit dark now, so I want to increase the lighting power of my scene, so I stop it. go to my V-Ray bridge environment and let's try to increase the multiplier of my HDRI to 25 and my side lights to 400 and my front lights to 100 as you can see I have uh, increase this value um, in relation with uh, all values of my lights so my side lights is increased by twice and uh, um, the front lights too to um, have the same uh, differential value from these lights and uh, uh, take the contrast in at the same level Let's see what happened in my render. Mm. Something is wrong. Maybe I have an error in some places, but everything is good. retest my render to see what happened okay I think it's good now sometimes these uh, kind of prepass are tricky and uh, Must uh, to check it some sometimes for obtaining what you want. Okay, as you can see, I have uh, a very in good light now with uh, a little bit of contrast uh, from lighting enter on my side that bounces with on my my chair and this uh, little chair I want to name it and. Uh, 
I have this uh, very cool um, little bit of exposure area um, in this uh, table and this light lamp and these windows so I think it's a good start for my shading with this uh, HDRI lighting method so I hope you enjoyed uh, follow me on YouTube and uh, follow me on my Instagram channel for stay tuned with my newest tutorial and my newest post thank you so much and bye see you next time